Hi there, hope you can excuse the slightly disheveled look. I've just been filming a new video for Demon View Drives. If you haven't checked out that channel, please do so. It's all about cars, my inability to know anything about them and trying to come to grips with learning all about cars and their magnificence. So yeah, check out Demon View Drives if you haven't. However, haven't abandoned you guys. And what I wanted to do in this video was do a very special video. I wanted to actually kind of look at the differences between using the GoPro Media Mod versus the GoPro Mic Adapter and which, in my opinion, you should be using. So with that, sit back, relax and enjoy because this is Demon View. Hi there, welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate you tuning in. And if you haven't already, please click those like and subscribe buttons. It really does help out with the channel views and it also makes it easier for me to bring you videos like this, educational stuff that teaches you things. So with that, let's get on with the video. Now, one of the things that uh, I see popping up from time to time is people are using like the GoPro mic adapter with their GoPros, even the new GoPros and one of the things they want they say is I'm using the GoPro mic adapter because I want to have external power while I record audio and they're not really sure what they're getting when they purchase this so I'm going to walk you through the differences between the GoPro mic adapter and the media mod and which I think you should be using with your camera so let's get on with that so the GoPro mic adapter is actually quite an old piece of technology and um, this was I think this came after the GoPro the GoPro here five and after really and that was for getting external audio into your GoPro if you wanted to use different microphones such as wireless mics or even shotgun mics. Now the GoPro Hero 4 and 3 and even the 2, they allowed you to use a USB to a 3.5 millimeter adapter. And the Hero 5 onwards GoPro didn't allow that. Um, they kind of used a proprietary ugh, technology to make sure that you had to use the GoPro mic adapter if you wanted to record external audio. Now, I see a lot of people who are doing moto vlogs, especially on motorbikes, using this. I don't like this adapter. First of all, there's been reported problems with a bad batch of these on the market. Don't know if that's true or not. You know, you hear these things, but that's usually people's assumptions. The other thing is I have seen uh, problems with people using certain uh, colorful bear microphones. That's all I'll say. And they just didn't work with this. Now, this is old technology and I'm going to show you why it's not great first of all if you're using this you know it's going to plug into your gopro like this and it's going to be hanging off the usb-c port now that's the weight of the adapter hanging off the usb-c port on your gopro your usb-c port it's not made of diamond it's not made of titanium you know it can be broken fairly easily so if you've got this hanging off and swinging back and forth whatever that's putting pressure on your usb-c port throw in the weight of a microphone cable hanging off this as well yeah not fantastic at all but well, let's power on the gopro and see what else okay excuse the video quality here i didn't have time to set up a tripod or at least i did but i was just too lazy to anyway here we go here's the camera Turn that off here now we have the uh, gopro mic adapter plugged in here and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to switch to the uh, main camera mode here and try to unlock it even lock it or anything well as you can see um well, that's it. It's plugged in. And if I did plug in uh, something like the Rode wireless microphone receiver into this and power it on, yes, it would record audio. That's not the problem. I'm gonna show you what happens if you plug this camera into the media mod. But before I do that, here's something else I wanna address. A lot of people will actually just use it like this with the uh, mic adapter hanging off, which for me is the wrong thing to do. What you really wanna do is kind of use a uh, GoPro's better Kind of accessory here which uh, for me is that gopro usb-c pass through door i've already made videos about this it's a simple elegant solution it's really brilliant but i'm just going to power the camera off here and show you why you should be using this door with your uh, mic adapter so just going to slap on the uh, usb-c pass through door like so and then because this is weatherproof it's got a little rubber seal in there and everything that passes right in there and there you go now you should be using this gopro mic adapter with a weatherproof door and that still hooks up but the problem is is that this cable here is so thick and so stiff that to actually bend it into the holder you have a point backwards or if you turn it around and have a point forward then it's going to be sticking out the side of your camera 
And the more you bend this, the more pressure you're putting on the cable. So you're probably gonna have to leave it hanging loose, in which case you're still putting strain on the USB-C pass-through door and you're putting strain on the USB-C port itself. Um, and that's not good for your camera. You'll eventually have a situation where you've plugged in your GoPro mic adapter and it's not detecting any external audio whatsoever because you've broken your USB-C port. Now, I've showed you what it's like when you actually have that USB-C adapter on, that GoPro mic adapter on. So let's see what happens when we put the media mod on. So let's power it on and go back to our desktop here. And what you'll notice now is you have these sound bars down the bottom, and that's not something that you get when you use the microphone adapter. Those sound bars are very handy. That's letting you know what sound the actual microphones are detecting and whether or not you're going over the threshold. So you might actually accidentally have your the gain set up incorrectly on your Rode wireless receiver here or on the microphone itself, in which case you could be creating overdrive and clipping. If you are using the media mod, you don't have that problem because it's actually displayed right there about whether or not you're going to go over the threshold. The other thing is that the mod offers and why it's better value, it's got two cold shoe adapters on it. So it's got one on this side and it's also got one on the top over here, which, you know, if I set up the camera properly, you'd be able to see. It also has, uh, wait for it, a little micro HDMI port there. So you can enable 1080p video out in your camera. And that's good if you're using it to capture video or if you just want to like watch video on your television. Then it's got a USB-C port and now that's good for powering your camera externally. I've actually done road trips with this camera with the uh, max lens mod attached and had it plugged in and yeah, it just worked. This is the Hero 12 by the way. And then on the bottom, it also has your TRS 3.5 millimeter line in. So you can hook up a mic to this. You can hook up power to this and you can get a HDMI video feed out. And that is just much better value for money than using the GoPro mic adapter. You know, in my opinion. You also don't have something hanging off the side of your camera as well, banging into your helmet or whatever. It's just kind of like a contained solution. And you know, there's a real advantage to using this with the Hero 12 too, and that is multi-track audio. If you're using this, and you're using like an older camera, you basically, you get line, audio, line in audio only from your microphone. If you're using Bluetooth audio and you're using the GoPro media mod with the Hero 12, you get multi-track audio. So you get the audio from your headset recorded as a separate audio track, and then you can actually use the microphones and the camera for an ambient audio track. And to me, that's a huge advantage also. I mean, Using the media mod compared to using the GoPro mic adapter, it's just a no-brainer for me. It's a kind of like, people say it's a bit bulkier, but honestly, having a camera and having this swinging off the edge of it is far worse than just putting a media mod on. People will say, oh, well, it's not waterproof. And yeah, you bring this underwater, it's going to be go bye-bye GoPro. You attach this to your camera and bring it underwater, it's also going to be bye-bye GoPro. I mean, you know, it's much for muchness. If you are doing moto vlogs and you're on a motorbike and you want your camera to remain absolutely waterproof, then don't use either of them. That's what I say. What I would simply do is put the normal door on your GoPro camera, you know, so have it nice and sealed. It's now completely waterproof, mount it, and then run a microphone into a digital audio recorder, sync the audio and video in post. That way your camera is still 100% waterproof and you have an audio track. Uh, you can actually use the Rode wireless with a digital audio recorder. So you can, let me bring that transmitter, oh, I did bring the transmitter down. So you can actually have this hooked up, you know, to whatever your microphone is in your helmet and have this going into your digital audio recorder. That way you still have something much, much lighter, much, much smaller. And don't forget, you can have a backup track on your Rode wireless too, and the one on your digital audio recorder. And that's just the perfect solution for me. <laughs> that's literally what I would do. So hope this helped you see the difference between the GoPro mic adapter and the GoPro media mod. Really, if you have a GoPro Hero 9 or later, you should be using the media mod. I wouldn't use this just because it's so old and so bulky. With older cameras like the GoPro Hero 8 and early, actually the GoPro Hero 8 had its own media mod, but the GoPro Hero 7 to the GoPro Hero 5 would require this. And um, this is here is a GoPro Hero 6. 
You can get little custom cases for this, but they're awkward to use. Let me to demonstrate real quickly. You have to shove the cable through, hope it comes out this gap, put it in here. And as you can see, you have access to the ports here, but then the side door has to come off your camera. Moisture can get in there. You also have to bend this over, shove it in here. And because that cable is so thick and you know sturdy, there's a lot of bend on that, a lot of force on that, so it's actually putting force on your USB-C port. So little cases like this on older cameras, not my favorite solution. So yeah, I think it's time to upgrade, get the media mod. And that's just what you should be using in my opinion. So hopefully that highlighted the difference. It was a quick, short video, so you don't have to sit down here for a half an hour. Remember to click those like and subscribe buttons and don't forget, check out Demon View Drives. I assure you, it's worth watching. Until next time, cheerio. In case you didn't guess, this one was unscripted and teleprompter free. So that's why I was all over the place, but hey, hope you enjoyed it.